guys want to get into trucking, this is this is this is what comes with it. Go go go! Let's do this. It is cold out here in Minnesota, Gaylord, Minnesota. I'm here at Michael's Foods. Not a bad place to come and pick up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at that. Look at all that space right there. Now, this ain't a bad place to come and pick up, but I'm not here to talk about Michael's Foods. I'm here to welcome you guys to another edition of Lockout Men. Mace the Call. Thank you for joining me this week. This week I was gonna call a company sponsored uh, school trucking company. I considered calling Swift with so much questions in my head that I have for that company. I decided to go a different route. Today's episode is gonna is gonna focus on CRST. CRST is a company sponsored CDL school. Uh, let me give a little bit of background on that right quick. Quest does offer a CDL training program for you guys. All right, that's the upside. A couple of downsides, one of which is it's an accelerated program. You will literally live on site for two weeks. Two weeks is not enough time to really get somebody properly trained to drive a truck. All right. This is how this is how fast they want you to get the license. Now, after you go through their program, you're subject to team driving. Another thing is that once you complete the uh, program and get your CDLs and all that good stuff, then they will start deducting about $40 a paycheck from the $2,500 that they charge you for the school. So guys, let's get into the video. Let's call CRST. And let's see what CRST is all about. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to uh, Lockout Me and Makes a Call. And, um, and the call that I'm about to make today is to CRST. Uh, last week's call was to Fresnards Trucking. Uh, thanks to Ashley for all the information that she has given us for uh, Fresnards Trucking. So check them out if you want more information about them. Uh, this week is to CRST. This one is a uh, company sponsored CDL training school trucking company. I figure I give them a call first. Uh, because they got a lot of they got a lot of divisions that um, they got a lot of divisions. They got expedited Malone, which is I believe is their flatbed division. Dedicated STI, not sure about that. B E S L, not sure about that. Pegasus, I'd have seen their trucks on the road. Gardner, Gardner, yeah, they got Gardner. Says if you're ready, they got recruiters standing by. And if you have any questions, give them a call, which I'm about to do right now. So, everybody, let's call CRST. did say your name is Erica, right? Erica. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Erica, how you doing today? Uh, I'm interested in... That's what they do. <laughs> okay. I'm interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about uh, CRST. I got some questions I'd like to ask and to see if you can uh, help me out with that. Okay, okay. All 
right. So, What's your question? All right. So, how long have you been a recruiter for the company? Quite a while. What can I do for you, Sean? So, I understand that you guys is a company sponsored uh, CDL training company, right? Correct. We'll cover your tuition as long as you drive with us for 10 months. Uh, do you, uh, do you, do you have your CDL, Sean, or are you looking to get that? Well, I right, hold up. Stop for a minute so I can explain to you guys this little segment right quick, you know, between the conversation between me and Erica. So, in the beginning, Erica was asking me if I already had my license or if I wanted to get my license with the company and all that other good stuff. And basically what I was just telling her in the, in the, you know, what I was just telling her, I was saying that, yes, I already have my license. And basically what I just wanted to do is just get some general information about the company as a whole, you know, how, how the schooling works or, or, you know, or what have you. Unfortunately, we did not get that far. So let's continue on with the conversation. I have my CDLs, but I'm just asking questions general for, you know, just to get a, just to get a better understanding of the company. Okay, do you have somebody else that may be interested? Uh, I may have a few people that might be interested. So that's why I'm calling. Okay. To get, that's why I'm calling to get information. Uh, okay. all right, so you guys do offer CDL training. Uh, is the travel covered? Yeah, so let me explain. Uh, three weeks long, the training could be held here at our headquarters in Iowa. Okay. So we get them a bus ticket, we cover the lodging, and then those items come out of the paycheck, $40 a week. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We cover the two bits then as long as they drive with us for 10 months. Okay. Well, will we be paid while we're going to the school? No paycheck during training because we're covering the tuition. Okay. When I receive my uh, my CDLs and when I get hired on, uh, again, tell me what will be my obligation to the company. Didn't you say you already have your CDL? I'm, I'm asking general. Uh, these are general questions that I'm asking. Wow. Let me hold on, guys, because the phone just went dead. You see that? Hold on for a second. Okay, Devin, you, you say Devin, right? Yep. Uh, okay, hopefully you'll be a, l a lot better conversation. I was talking to a young lady named Erica, and she hung up on me. So is that like a proper procedure for you guys if y'all don't want to talk to nobody? No, I mean, if, if you're trying to get a job, I can send you an email, and then if you want to fill out the application, we can go from there. I got questions that I want to know about the company that, you know, that I might be interested in. Yeah, I'm going to give you an email. We'll, we'll have it in there. I'll just send you a packet of it. I got your email here, so I'll just send it. Um, and then every so if you have questions after that, I'll let you get my number. Hold up for a minute. Let me, let me stop it right here. All right, so as you guys can see, I got hung up on when I was talking to uh, Erica about, you know, about the CDL school part of the uh, Q&A. So after that, I kind of felt some kind of way and I was like, well, maybe the phone got disconnected or maybe uh, it slipped or whatever. I, I didn't think that she hung up on me, which she did. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you call these companies and you be like, you know, you want to know a little bit about a little bit of information about the company before you even make up your mind if you want to put them on the list of companies that you want to talk to. But if you're going to get treated with such disrespect like that, then 
that is not the company to drive for it. Because if the recruiters disrespect you like that over the phone, then you can imagine how they're going to disrespect you while you're working for them. Now, fast forward, I said, I'm about to call back, which I did. So now this guy, Devin, is the second recruiter that came on the phone. Now, I asked him and told him about what happened with the conversation between me and Erica. You know, and I guess, you know, he probably didn't care or whatever. But now, you know, he was like, uh, I can send you an email package and you can read over the email and then I can call then I can call back and then ask questions. But I already had my questions that I wanted to answer. I already did my homework on the company. I already know about the bonus. I already know about the team drive. I already know about all that. I just want to get general information, a little bit more information from you, the recruiter that's representing the company. All right. So I'm the truck driver that's trying to get, you know, that's trying to come to, you know, that's trying to come to your company and, and, and probably work for it. But he was just trying to hurry up and get me off the phone, which you guys will hear in a minute. You know, he's just trying to hurry up and get me off the phone so he can just try to get other people to feel the seat. And then we can talk more, but everything in the package should answer all the questions. If I go to school, if I go through your schooling, what will be my obligation to you after I get my CDL license from you guys? Well, we show that you have a we show that you have a class A right now, so you wouldn't need school if you have a class A. I'm, I know that. I'm just asking general. That's what I'm saying. I'm just asking general. What would be the obligation? But if you have a class A, I mean, for any student, it's a 10-month contract, but you wouldn't need that if you have a class A. Right. I under I understand that, but I'm just saying, I'm just asking general. So you just said 10 months? Yeah, but that wouldn't apply to you because you have a class A. All right. What's your, what's your guys' higher areas? That's basically the eastern United States. Where's the terminal located? Uh, we have different terminals across the uh, United States. If you want, I could just go through your qualifying questions to make sure you're approved before we keep going. Let me stop right here for the time uh, with Devin. All right. So as you guys can hear during the conversation uh, with Devin, you can tell that he, you know, that, you know, he was kind of being a little bit disrespectful. Uh, a little, a little. Uh, you know, he wanted to like hurry, hurry me up off the phone, so that you know it's like he don't have time to answer the questions. Well, maybe we'll just go over some qualifying questions before we go over your questions. Well, I want to go over my questions first. I, I already know that I'm qualified. Let's say if I was a student that wasn't qualified or that wasn't uh, in that situation. And that's why I'm asking the questions that I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking whether or not that to see if the company is a good fit for me. I'd rather make sure that you're approved. I'd rather ask my questions first, if you don't mind. I do because I got ten other lines. I got ten other people calling. Uh, I'll give you a call. I'll shoot you an email with some info. I got other people that want to go through the qualifying questions so I can find out if they want a job or not. So I'll send you an email um, and we'll go from there. Wow. Well, that was uh, short and rude. This is a <laughs> this is a uh, very short. Blockout man makes the call. So the first recruiter I talked to, which was uh, Erica, she hung up on me. And uh, the second recruiter I talked to, uh, Devin. But the questions that I was asking, uh, that I was getting into, was to see if I was interested or if your guys is interested in the company. You have to make the recruiters honest. You see what I'm saying? You have to make them honest and with the questions that you have for them, not them having for you. 
You see what I'm saying? If you're interested in a, in a company, you gonna have to do your homework on that company. You see what I'm saying? So right now, as you guys just heard, I just got finished calling uh, two uh, recruiters for CRST. As you just heard, he over here talking about, well, we got, uh, we got, I got 10 other people that I need to call, I mean, that I need to talk to. Okay. Well, out of that 10 other people that you're going to talk to, maybe they're going to ask you the same questions. Are you going to, are you going to treat them like that on the, I mean, you want to treat them over the phone too? If they want to ask you about the company that you represent, you RST recruiting. This is Donna. How can I help you? Yes, Donna. How you doing? Uh, I have uh, called there previously. I, I got a question. Why are the recruiters are making it difficult for me to, you know, get a better understanding of CRST? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The, That's the last um, couple. The, la the last couple of the last couple of recruiters that I talked to was in my opinion very rude i mean i i'm i'm just calling to you know just to get a general general inform you know general information so i can better understand uh crst rather i know other people that might want to be interested in crst as well uh -huh. is there a sign-on bonus or tuition reimbursement. Well, well, we would be all 48 states, and it, it, it is coast to coast. Let me tell you about the position first before we get into anything else. Make sure it's something you want to do. And it's coast to coast, three to four weeks out, three to four days home, and we drive in teams, which means there's a co-driver with you in the truck. Okay. For experienced drive drivers, the sign-on bonus is $1,500, and it's paid out in increments throughout your first six months. Okay. You get $200 at hire, $300 at 60 days, $400 at 120 days, $600 at 180 days, okay? Right. Uh, and as long as we got the three months of over the road verified, we would start start you at 42 cents a mile. All right. Okay. Uh, do you guys offer tuition reimbursement? Yes, if you've graduated within the last year. Drug testing, do you guys require hair, a hair follicle test for pre-employment? No, it's a urinalysis. What's your policy on uh, drivers with felons? It's all a case-by-case -case review by my safety manager. It has to be put on your application, and they review your application as a whole okay. to determine if it would be approved. Where is the orientation held? <clears throat> if you live in Ohio, then we would bring you to our corporate headquarters in Iowa. Is, uh, mm -hmm. is, the, is the orientation paid for, and how long is it? It's three days. There is no paid for orientation. Right. We have breakfast and lunch, and we take care of your transportation and your lodging here. Okay. For any reason that I'm disqualified or do not take the pit, take the position, will I be able to get a bus ticket back home, or or will you guys be able to send me back home? If you if you choose to leave, you you would be on your own. We we would be bringing you here to employ you. Okay. We, we would have you pre-approved before you even get transportation here and have offered you the position. And if you choose to leave once you're here, that's your decision. All right. My next question is about uh, about the training. How long is the training time? Be 28 days out with a trainer. Okay. I'm paid during the training time. Well, again, it's all paid by experience. So if he's right. fresh out of school, it starts at 33 cents a mile. Okay. The typical trainer that you guys got, how much experience do he have? They can't be a trainer without at least six months of experience. I, I don't know what the average is for the trainers out there. We have senior trainers mm -hmm. all the way to six six monthers. You know what I mean? So I you. that you can't be a trainer with less than six months all of right. experience. What's the uh, what's the CPM for dri new drivers, experienced drivers, and student drivers? All is based on experience. It depends on how how long you've been out there. Do you guys offer advances for? Uh, for drivers that's that need you know that need to that need some money before they get paid. Oh, we we can. We we don't encourage it because it, it, you know that can cause problems in the long run. But yes, it, it's possible. All right. What's the pay period there? Drivers are paid every Thursday and, and Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. How often? 
how often do you guys have pay increases? Uh, once you hit six months experience, it goes up every six months. Awesome. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It is mandatory, and it, yeah, so yes, it is offered. Uh, do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Um, we, we don't have holiday pay. When the wheels on the truck are moving, you're getting paid. Okay. Uh, you get a, 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 a vacation you do get after a year. Okay. One year, one we get one year, two weeks at two years. Awesome. How about breakdown and detention pay? Um, detention pay. Let's see here. Six twenty-five hourly rates after three hours of being detained. So it starts at, at three hours being detained. Layover is. $40 after your first 48 hours and every 24 hours after that. How about multiple stop pay? Do we, do we like, if we get like multiple, like three, four We don't run that way. Okay. You, you don't, we don't have, it's not LTR or anything. You'd, you'd be, you'd be dropping and hooking mostly. Gotcha. Do you guys offer benefits? Oh, yep. what are Major medical, dental, vision, 401k, life insurance, you know, the vacation after a year, all, right. all of that. Working with uh, CRST, what's the average miles a driver can get a week? Well, the fleet runs four to 6,000 miles a week for the tractor. Awesome. What routes are available? I don't have specific routes. It's all irregular freight. All right. Are all miles paid for, and how is the miles calculated? Yes, all the miles are paid for. And it's basically zip code to zip code. Zip code to zip code. I believe they go Rand, Ma Ma Rand McNally. Rand McNally. What's the policy mm -hmm. on idling? Um, I, I, I guess I don't have the answer to that. Okay. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Yes, as long as you submit the receipts. You you just mentioned that that it, I'll be dropping and hooking mostly. What's the percentage of that? Mm -hmm. Probably about eighty percent. Eighty percent. What's uh what's what will my what will my home time be like there? Three to four days a month. Three to four days out. Three to four days a month. Is there slip seating with the company? No. What's your pet and rider policy? None. None for each one. That's right. Uh, is there force dispatch to New York City or California? Yes. Truck equipment. What do you guys offer? Ten speeds or automatics or both? We have both. What divisions do you guys yeah. what divisions do you guys offer? Flatbed, uh, temperature control, what do you guys offer? Well there's different operating companies that handle those different areas. Okay, okay so my division is strictly drive in. Drive in. For driver comfort, what <laughs> oh I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. For driver comfort, what amenities do you offer inside the trucks? Uh, there's a fridge. Awesome. What's the trucks governing that? 65. 65. <laughs> you guys have an um, open door policy. For management, sure. Yeah. Oh, you you mentioned earlier that the uh, that the company is is the company team based. Yes, that's all we do at this division is all teaming. In fact, most of CRST is, is, is teaming unless you own your own truck. Do you have uh, drive cams inside of the trucks? Uh, they have some that have the forward facing for accidents, but not all of them yet. Okay. I think they're going that way though. What is the number one reason for me to stay with the company? Um, well, CRST is is a cash-based company. It's debt-free. That we don't lay off our drivers and our, you know, uh, office staff. So you always get a paycheck. Okay. There's no, it's no, there's no debt. How much? So that, that, that's that's solid. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Very solid. That sound. That sounds good. That sounds good. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, so. Going into my second year with CRST, how much am I expect to make on my second year with CRST? Well, I mean, it is kind of hard to say with the, the you know what I mean, because it's all based on the miles. I would expect a driver who stayed with us, you know, into the you know, completed their second year would, you know, easily hit fifty thousand. Okay. Fifty to fifty. 
five, I would think. All right. Well, what's your name again, Donna? Yes. Donna, I want to thank you very much for taking the time out to, you know, give me the information that I that I just asked you. Is there anything is there anything else you can add that I haven't touched on? I've never been grilled so completely, so I can't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> why, why thank you. Thank you. Well, Donna, listen, I I really do appreciate it that that you took the time out to uh to uh do this Q&A with me to give me a chance to, to give me a chance to get a better understanding of CRST um, I am I am kind of disappointed of the the, the first two recruiters um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they is not like that with with everybody that's interested in coming with the company and all like that but I, I do appreciate I, I do appreciate you I do appreciate you taking the time out to uh, give me the information. Um, so do I need to go? What? Where do I need to go? Uh, where do I need to go to get uh, to get the application? As well, it just takes you to our website. It is it's joincrst.com. Oh, joints. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. If, if, you know, if you use the link that is is in the email, it comes to me. Okay. All right, cool, perfect. All righty then. Well, look, Donna, thank you very much. How long have you? Uh, how long have you been a recruiter with the company? Um, I've been here for four years. <laughs> okay, awesome. You know your stuff. You know your stuff. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. All right, no problem, Sean. I'll send that email out right now. Okay? All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well. Oh, there you have it, CRST. If you guys was interested in finding out more about CRST, give Donna a call and make sure you call Donna. All right, the other two recruiters, I I wouldn't suggest calling. Them, all right, maybe they just had a bad day. Maybe they just had too many phone calls. I don't know. All right, well, that's it for this episode for Lockout Men. Mace the call. You guys have any questions you want me to ask these recruiters out here, make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you want me to call a particular carrier, make sure you leave that in the comments below. All right, also, what I want you to do also is to tell me what you guys think of the call. What you guys think of the uh, of the call today? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it sway you? Did it did it uh, make up or make up your mind about CRST if you was thinking about it? Let me know in the comments below about that too. You guys have a blessed one out there. And I'll see you guys next week with another episode. Peace.